One of the scariest side effects of alcohol that nobody ever speaks about or even knows about is the fact that alcohol makes your brain blood barrier penetrable. Do you understand and know why on all the medications out there, it says that most of them when it comes to like antidepressants, when it comes to benzos, when it comes to uh, stimulants like Adderall and all this, it all has do not mix with alcohol because your brain blood barrier is now penetrable and this can actually cross through it. These substances can, and this is an effect of alcohol that people don't realize. The brain blood barrier is a membrane around your brain designed to protect your brain from toxins directly attacking it. It, for stuff like stimulants like Adderall, for example, it has to be digested, go through your entire system to actually reach your brain. So it's not just bombarding your brain right away. But when you drink alcohol, now that becomes penetrable so that all of a sudden you actually will put something in your system and it will go right and affect your brain differently than what it would normally because of the amount of effect that your brain is getting from it. And this is one of the side effects that people don't realize. This is why if you are on ADHD meds, alcohol isn't affecting you like it does normal people. This is why a lot of times people who are addicts are mixing different substances. Alcohol doesn't feel like it's affecting you out of all these different substances, but you feel this high is different. And that's a dangerous thing about it because now the high is different. How you, it was working in your system is different, but also all the risk get different and even worse from heart attack to stroke to going into to low blood pressure just drops, going into seizures. There is so much that can now end up happening that makes every substance out there more dangerous. And that's why I share. I share for educational purposes only. There is nothing glamorous about drugs. There's nothing glamorous about getting high other than the fact that you destroy your life. You hurt people around you. You cause a lot of trauma and you literally lose life. That's what it does. It sucks your life from you, your soul from you. 725.17 is my sobriety date. It is one day at a time. It is, it is fighting for it every single day. And for the one that's doing it, I am proud of you. Find what works for you, whether it's inpatient rehab, outpatient rehab, treatment centers, therapy, therapist, whatever it is. There's AA, there's NA, there's no right or wrong way to get sober. It's your way to get sober. But don't give up. All that energy that you were once putting into your addiction, put it into your sobriety and you'd be amazed at what happens. And for the one that's doing it right now, I am proud of you. You got this and it does get better.